everybody. My name is Jonathan Dudley. I'm here with Golf Tech Wendover, and uh, we're going to check out Freddie Couples today. Freddie, obviously, one of those timeless, amazing ball strikers. He makes it look so effortless. But uh, some pretty unique s s things going on in his swing here. A guy that's definitely had some back issues in his day, but uh, can still, you know, bomb that ball out there. It's pretty, some pretty amazing stuff. So. Well, let's take a look at him here, and we're going to see some unique things, right, even in his setup position. So if we look at his hands, a lot of uh, a lot of times what we encourage or, you know, if we were talking about Hogan, we'd see a, a hand here that, you know, this would, this crease would be pointing a little bit more over into the right shoulder. Well, Freddie's got a real extremely uh, strong grip, all right? <clears throat> and uh, if we look at the creases in his hands, those are moving um, in two similar directions. But most of the time we see guys on the club, like if we were to take, you know, kind of Hogan or, or Tiger, you kind of see these guys cross up a little bit um, with those creases. But, uh, you know, Freddie, not so much. I mean, he's got a real extremely strong grip. We can almost see, a, you know, four knuckles on that left hand. But interestingly enough, a lot of guys, like even Duvall, for instance, right, Guys with strong grips will actually hit more of a fade, and, and Freddie definitely, that's his go-to shot. But let's watch his action here as he's, as he's coming back, and uh, we'll see some other unique things about Freddie. But we're going to highlight something that is, uh, something that he does better than, better than most, and I think is a real hallmark of all great ball strikers. So uh, we bring him to the top here, and we're going to look at a couple of things. So. First thing, we bring him to the top. I mean, he's real steady with his head. On the right side of the screen, if we look at his head here, we'll just make a line from here to here. And we'll make a line right here on the front of his head. But we'll watch the, this side of the screen here first. So we get to this position and you know, he's got, he definitely gets the, the wrist cocked, but not really early. He just stays nice and wide with his arms here. So he has, you know, great rotation. Even though on this side of the screen, it certainly looks like he picks the club up. All right. So obviously he's known for a very upright type swing. We can see that that club, the butt end of that club is in this area. And obviously the club head is way up here so and in fact I mean the toe is very much down so he, he's actually started off with a closed grip but he's in a pretty what we would call you know an open position there even though um, he's got this cupped left hand with a club face I mean it's pretty matched up but it's a, definitely a unique way of doing it so now as we watch him start his downswing what we're gonna see is this club in this position and you know sometimes we'll see baseball players in this position because they they just feel more comfortable with that flying right elbow well if you're gonna do that one thing that has to happen is we've got to get that club back into a good slotted position or getting the shaft to lay down but look how much that club head has traveled so before he even starts pulling that thing into the ball that club head went from those two lines over the two red lines over there to the two yellow lines over here now he's got it in a great striking position. I mean, you can see that that shaft is bisecting both his arms right through his shoulder. But here's the thing that's so amazing about Freddie. When he starts down, look at how much leg drive he has. So most guys, you know, they'll get their left hip to this line, most good ball strikers. But Freddie actually even covers that and then some. So you can see that his left side here is completely outside of his foot. So that's an incredible amount of leg drive. And when we're watching this, if we just take out some of these lines here, we can also see that his chest is not nearly as open as his belt buckle. So again, he's created a lot of upper body, lower body separation, and that's really what helps him get that club set better. So if we bring him back to position, let's just watch him swing a couple obviously his rhythm is amazing and it looks so effortless but he is driving hard with those legs laterally 
And that delay in that upper body and that separation is really what's helping him create a tremendous amount of power there. All right, so we're going to stop him now, go back to a dress position. And I just want to show you something that we see with a lot of amateurs that <coughs> Freddie doesn't do. So we're going to show you amateurs what's super important. So you can put something here behind you. I've heard Jonathan Bird use a water cooler before. Different guys can use different things. You can even you put a stake in the ground here and just have uh, like a foam roll against uh, your backside. But when you get to the top, you create a bunch of hip depth. You can see he's keeping his hips against that box. And then as he starts down, let's watch his, his head, what his head's doing versus what his lower body is doing. So. As he starts down, you can see most amateurs, their hips will start to come off the line at this point in time. Most amateurs, they'll be moving kind of towards the ball, and they'll actually have to um, kind of raise the shaft. But not Freddie. I mean, he creates a tremendous amount of hip depth as well. And you can see his hip actually finishes outside of the box. The guy that you see doing stuff like that too, a guy like Trevino, he'd be an example of that too. And so he creates that massive amount of, separation and rotation with the lower body now his upper body is finally coming through but you can see how much he has driven with his legs and interestingly enough I think when you see a lot of good ball strikers driving through the golf ball the plane of their foot is really not come off the ground at that much at impact it actually is a nice long leg look driving through the golf ball and that is something that you can certainly copy from Freddie. So again, Jonathan Dudley here with Golf Tech Wendover, reviewing Freddie Couples.